we haven't had a conversation. You said you're Jewish, but you're atheist. Yeah. Okay, and you're Jewish. Sorry, come a bit closer, my friend. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you're Jewish, but you're atheist. Okay, and your name is? Jacob. Jacob. Okay, your name Jacob. is uh, Yaqub. Okay, Yaqub in Arabic. That's true. Okay, you're Jacob. Jacob. Yaakov in Hebrew. Oh, Yaakov in Hebrew. Yaakov in Hebrew. Yaakub uh, in Arabic and Jacob in English. Okay, and right? Kub in Polish. Okay, fine. Okay, we'll stop there. <laughs> okay, well, okay, brilliant. Okay, you're very, you look like a very friendly guy. And that's why it's useful to film you and Muslims can watch. Fantastic. Now, you, you said you don't believe in God. No. Yeah. You never I'm believed agnostic. in God or used to? I'm agnostic, so... Yeah, of course, agnostic. That's, that's, per, that's absolutely no correct. Say they, no one can say that God is not, not existing. Yeah. Because... Well, you're not, you're not, you can't see any evidence. But by that logic, I also can't say that God exists. That's true. I agree. Fair enough. Let's go forward. I agree. Let's go forward. Uh, what do you do, by the way, Jacob? I'm a photographer. Okay, you're a photographer. Brilliant. Okay, that's very kind of you to stand here on this coldish day and be filmed. Okay. Now, there are really four proofs as a creator. Uh, depending on your time, I can do all four or I can go to the fourth one, which is the most powerful one. The first one is cosmological argument, cause and effect. Secondly, it's the design argument called the teleological argument. Yeah. The third are lives of certain people, the prophets of God. Okay. The fourth are the miracles given by God, or the Creator, uh, to us through the prophets. So would you like to do me to do all four, but that's going to take about half an hour. Let's go to the fourth. fourth one, let's go to the fourth one. Okay, let's go to the fourth one. Time. I've not got much time. You haven't got much time. In fact, none of us have got much time on this earth, I would say. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, I haven't got much time, so we'll go to the fourth one. Okay. And the fourth one is the miracles given by the Creator to mankind through the prophets. So you may know from your Jewish background that Moses had a stick which he put on the sea, the sea split open, and the children of Israel escaped, right, from the Pharaoh. Miracle given by God to Moses. Peace be upon Moses. Then from a Muslim point of view, there was also Jesus. I know Jewish people don't believe in Jesus. Uh, after Jesus, God sends another prophet, uh, another messenger, and his name is Muhammad. You've heard of him, obviously. Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, okay. Uh, born about 571 years after Jesus. Cousin of Ali. Cousin of Ali. Ali is his cousin. Ali is his cousin. That is true. That is true. I'm trying to remember the links of different is Islam people. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go forward. Prophet Muhammad. How do we know that Prophet Muhammad was a prophet of God? How, and not a false prophet. How do we know that he was sent by God? How do we know there's a God? For someone like who is agnostic or in common language atheist, how do you know there's a God? Okay. The miracle he was given that exists today, Jacob. Can I call you Jacob? Okay, but it's actually pronounced. How do you normally pronounce it? Oh, Jacob. Oh, Jacob. Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm from London, so. Oh, see, fine. You're from London. Okay, from your London. You're a photographer. Uh, Jacob. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very kind of you. A uh, Jewish brother. Okay. Uh, I'm going to prove to you there's a God uh, because you're a Jewish atheist. Were you always atheist, by the way? Uh, agnostic, or you became agnostic? I've always been agnostic. Okay. And your parents agnostic as well? My parents as well. Your parents are atheist agnostic as well. Okay. Number one, the Quran is the miracle. I would suggest that proves that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Peace be upon him. And Islam is true, uh, Jacob, and it's the most powerful proof that God exists. Number one, the Quran is a 1400-year-old book. It hasn't changed in the Arabic language. Okay. Number two, it contains lots of statements about our universe, statements about science, okay, scientific statements or statements about the observable universe, Jacob. And thirdly, the Quran makes no scientific mistakes. Even though it's 1400 years old, Jacob, it doesn't get anything wrong. Four, it's a book that's easy to memorize and millions and millions of people have memorized the whole Quran of my heart all over the world. And most of them can't even speak Arabic. Uh, about 1.92 billion Muslims in the world, 300 to 400 million Arabs speaking, Arab or Arabic speaking. Uh, so most can't speak Arabic and they still manage to memorize the Quran of my heart. Five, the Prophet Muhammad couldn't read and write. Okay, uh, it says that in the Quran, and if he could read and write, uh, peace be upon him, people would have said, Muhammad, you're a liar. 
why should we follow you? You know, why should we pray five times a day or fast in Ramadan or do anything, you know? Because clearly you're a liar. They would have said that. But they couldn't because he wasn't a liar. And, um, and that ad this adds to the miraculousness of the Quran. Number six, the words have an effect of making you a lot happier, I would suggest. Um, it says on the leaflet here, making you positive, not COVID-19 positive, obviously. Number seven, uh, this book contains no contradictions, Jacob, even though it was revealed a little bit at a time over 23 years. Number eight, the way the Arabic language is used inside the Quran, the way the words have been constructed, the sentences, the paragraphs, the chapters, which are called surahs, and the Quran itself, it, it's got it's really quite remarkable um, and uh, it's beyond human ability we would say and this was the primary reason why people at the time of Prophet Muhammad thought this book was a miracle this was the primary reason important to understand number nine it contains God's challenge inside the Quran God says if you have doubt I'm translating from the Arabic obviously God says in the Quran if you have doubt in what we have revealed to our servant that's the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him then produce a ch chapter like it a surah like it, God says in the Quran. And call your witnesses besides God. Call for help, whoever you want. And God says, if you can't do this, and you will never be able to do this, then fear the fire, the fuel of which are going to be human beings and stones. Now, that sort of statement in a book, I'm sure you agree, Jacob, is a very arrogant statement for a human being to make. My book is so amazing, no one can write three sentences like it. They'd be mad. They'd be crazy to write this. Only God can say it, and we think he has said it inside the Quran 1400 years ago. Okay. Number 10, it's produced the largest practice religion of 1.9 or 2 billion followers. You're, you're aware of that? Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Number 11, it's the fastest growing religion in the world today. According to the Pew Institute in the United States of America, it's the fastest growing religion in the world today. Um, Jacob. Number 12, historical events inside the Quran, 100% accurate. Things that were happening in the world before the Prophet Muhammad lived on the earth. 13. Prophecies inside the Quran, 100% accurate. 14. Other religions and how they started described inside the Quran, and again 100% accurate. Okay. Uh, particularly Christianity. 15. The Quran contains an economic and a welfare system, not only applicable today, still necessary today. One second, my friend. Okay, somebody's coming. You can watch, you can watch. No problem. Now, with these 15 characteristics, Jacob, would you agree the Quran's a powerful book? Of course it's a powerful book. Yeah. Of course. Okay, so you agree. Oh, okay, without okay. doubt, you agree it's a powerful book. Okay, would you agree it's a book beyond human... No, leave it on the ground, my friend. It's heavy. Would I agree it's a book beyond the ability? Would you agree it's a book beyond human ability to produce? What I'm saying is, 1400 years ago, could a man called Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who couldn't read and write, could he have produced it? Clearly he didn't read anything, write anything, so very unlikely. Could the people around him have produced something like the Quran? No, because if they'd guessed things about our universe, uh, so, you know, scientific statements, they would have got some things wrong. They might have got some things right, they've got some things wrong. And for them to produce a book that so many people have been affected by, so many people believe in God because of it, and also because of this book, we believe in the Torah. The Jewish people, you're Jewish, uh, Jewish people believe in the Torah as from God. We believe the Torah came from God. We also believe in the Psalms or Zabur given to the prophet David, peace be upon him, which the Jewish people also believe in. We also believe in Abraham, peace be upon him. Sorry? The king of Israel, David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. King of Israel, that's right. Okay. And Israel, of course, was the name game to Jacob. And you're Jacob. Okay. Uh, Israel, uh, Jacob was given the title of Israel, which means a worshipper of God or soldier of God by God. It's in the Bible and the Quran. With these characteristics, would you agree it's a powerful book? Of course. Would you agree with these characteristics, it's a book beyond human ability to produce? Yes. That means it's from God? I guess so. That means, now, if you agree it's from God, then you're agreeing Muhammad is a prophet of God. I suppose so. I would say congratulations, you're a Muslim. <laughs> the Jewish brother, you're a Muslim. But, uh, for, for no, 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 look, 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 look. Can I be Muslim and Jewish? <laughs> Yeah, of course you can. Okay, yeah, no, you, you are, you are. No, because you're Jewish by race, but you're Muslim by belief. Make sense?
you're Jewish by race because that's your ch your ch you're one of the children of Israel. Yeah. Agreed. So you're children of Israel. You're a child of Israel. In fact, your name is Jacob, which is Israel. And so you're a children of Israel. You're a child of Israel. And uh, so you're Jewish by race, but you're accepting Muhammad as a prophet of God. You're a Muslim, my friend. Look, this is not a bad thing. No, of course it's not a bad. It's not a bad thing. Look, 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 look. You're not going to be young and good-looking forever. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Right. So now, this is prom what is the Quran promising you? The Quran's promising you a happier life, more content, a, a happier relationship with your partner. When you, you don't have one. No, then, then you will get a good partner. The Quran's promising you, inshallah, God will give you a good partner. Do you have any children? No. no. Okay. So when you do have children, your children, uh, your relationship with you will be better. Your, your children's behavior will be better. The Quran promises this, and the Prophet Muhammad promised this. And um, also, uh, and also, by, my friend, this life is very temporary. You see, compared with the next life, which is permanent, which is promised in the Torah and the Quran, this life is absolutely nothing. You see, it doesn't matter how long this life is. Is let's say it's a hundred years, compared with eternity in the hereafter. It, this is nothing. You see, even if the next life was a million years, a million years compared with a hundred years, this hundred years is nothing. But the life is not a million years afterwards, it's permanent. So, now what is God promising? You see, why did God make us? Why did God make Jacob? Okay, why did God make myself, right? All of us, all human beings. The Creator made us to connect with Him, to be His uh, Abd, right? Uh, he created us. God says in the Quran, he, uh, the verse in the Quran is, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ He did not create jinn kind, like spirits, and mankind, except to connect with him. Worship him is translated commonly, but actually it's not just worship. The word also means someone who is dependent on him, someone who loves him, someone who worships him. It's all part of it. So that's why he made Jacob. And why is he put Jacob? Okay, your Jewish background, right? Your Jewish background, myself. Why did he put us on the earth? He's put us on the earth. The Quran tells us. Sorry? Test us. Yes, but is the test to check? Is it test because God wants to know what we're like? No. No, I agree with you. Do you know why? Because he knows everything. So if he's not testing us to know what we're like, so why is the test? I don't know, but I actually have to leave. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. Okay, let me conclude. Let's we'll have conclude. A good yeah, let's have a good ending. Let's have a good ending. No, you mean today or on the day of judgment? Both. <laughs> Both. That's right. Well, you're a Muslim now. Now, I would suggest. No, it's a good thing. I would suggest. Okay, do you? You were when I stopped. You were an agnostic or atheist. I, 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 I wouldn't say I'm a Muslim now. No, no, you wouldn't say but that, I'm, but I would. You would, and I, I accept that. I love you as a Muslim brother, and I would suggest spend... Look, you don't need to change your no, lifestyle. I, I'm going to start reading about Islam as I've read about other religions as well. And No, no, what I'm saying to you... Of course, of course, read, my friend. What I'm saying is... What I'm saying to you is... Of course, read about everything. What I'm saying is, uh, my friend, that uh, uh, you don't need to change your lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to give up your bacon sandwiches, your glass of wine. I'm Jewish, I can't eat bacon. We're, we're the same. But you're a agnostic, you said. Yeah, I do eat bacon. <laughs> you eat bacon, there you are. Okay, you don't need to give up your bacon sandwiches, brother. You don't need to give up your glass of wine. Whatever you're into, don't give up that. You know, you don't need to change. But what I would say you do, brother, uh, dear brother, is spend a few minutes meditation. Okay. Do you do that? I do meditate a bit. Perfect. I'm going to give you a, med a book on meditation. Okay. You spend a few minutes standing, okay. bowing and putting your head on the ground like this and this is by the way in the bible uh in the jewish bible which is the torah uh moses and abraham they prayed like this meditated like this uh in the new testament jesus prayed like this you see? uh and the prophet muhammad told us this is the position in which we're the closest we can be to god so meditate in this position you happy with that yeah, yeah. meditate in fusion and it'll help with your stress if you have any stress, and sorry, my back pain, your back pain, your anxiety, your panic attacks, your depression, all of these things will help with, and uh, my, teeth. my teeth, 
Uh, it, it, it's giving you the tooth. I don't know about the truth. It's giving you the truth. I don't know about the tooth. Okay. For the tooth as well. For the tooth, you'll have to see a dentist. Yeah. For the tooth, you have to see a dentist. All we can do here is give you the truth. Okay, so if you have a problem with the wisdom tooth, you have to see a dentist. Here, we're dealing with the wisdom and the truth. No, okay. You see, there are two sentences we say. I, I, to, I no, no, let me, I'll, I'll, I'll conclude. Look, one minute, one minute, only one minute. The two sentences we say, Jacob, is one is, I will only pray to the highest power, mm. Allah, and I accept Mo, Muhammad as a messenger of God, like Moses and Abraham and Jesus. Are you happy to say that? I, yeah. You, sure. you only pray, you say, I am a witness. I'm a witness. There is nothing. There is nothing. Worthy. Worthy of, of my worship. Accept the highest power. Power. Allah. Allah. And I'm a witness. And I'm a witness. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Is his servant. It's his servant. And Muhammad is his messenger. <laughs> and Muhammad is his messenger. That's right. Congratulations, brother. Jacob, nice it's a very big thing, brother. Look, enjoy your life. You know, enjoy life. And remember, this is temporary, right? Spend your time meditation. And as your love for God increases, then we can do more or less. And it's a very big thing. Congratulations. Uh, 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 thank you, I'm a Jewish brother. You want to say something to our Muslim friends? Look, Jewish, we're coming here. I need to go, man. I need to go. My friends down the road. I need to go. Assalamu alaikum. I need to go. Nice to meet you. We need to go to paradise. So you need to go. Okay, I know you're in a rush. Uh, brother Jacob, well, can I call you Brother Yaqub? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, Brother Jacob to Brother Yaqub. Assalamu alaikum.